joining me on my channel. Today I am doing pinup bumper bangs and I'm covering uh, or I'm hiding my Betty bangs. I'm just sectioning it off right now and I'll be using the Classy Rebel Rat and Roll which I love. I love the volume and the fact that you can bend it and you cannot find hair roll like that. At least I haven't. So it's one of my favorites for shoots uh, on myself and other people. I'm taking non-breakable elastics that I got at Sally's and I'm just elasticing my bangs, I don't know if that was a word, uh, with my real hair. And um, I sectioned back further to grab more hair, so if you notice that. Now I'm sectioning the end, I'm pardon me, I'm elasticing the end and I'm rolling it up. And I find that's a really easy way to keep all the hair together and super fast. So there are two clips on either end of the sponge. And you may or may not have caught that when I showed you the inside and um, it clips to your hair. I recommend putting a couple bobby pins, but for this video I didn't, and I didn't really have to, so it just depends on your hair and your comfort zone with it. If I was going out all night, I would definitely do a couple bobby pins, and I would just crisscross it on either end. So I'm just spreading the hair out, and as you can see, because it has the elastic, it doesn't go all over the place, and it creates a shape. It helps keep it. I love that. And I like to take the hair and go right to the very end. I don't like it when the sponge sticks out. So I'm taking the end of my um, rat tail comb, and I'm just smoothing underneath any flyaways. Um, I still missed a couple flyaways, but I just wanted to do this video to show you how I did a bumper bang, and I love the classy Rebel Rat and Roll, so don't worry about that. Hairspray, combing, smoothing out, you can get all that. So now I'm going to add some waves at the ends of my hair. And I've already straightened my hair today um, lightly, so <clears throat> I'm going to see if this holds. I'm using a one inch um, Hot Shot Tools Gold Series Barrel. And I'll list all the tools and products I use down below um, from the video, so no worries. And I am, whoops, got to switch my glove. I want to make sure I don't burn myself. I already did that once already. You can see the burn mark on my arm. Um, so I'm wrapping around and just kind of curling it in. I do not clamp the top down. I just use the inner barrel. I saw that on a video and I find that has worked really well for me so I do not clamp it down. And I'm only holding the hair for maybe less than 10 seconds. If it's hard to hold or I've taken a really wide section, I'll hold it for 20 seconds. Um, but if you use a, a styling starch ahead of time, like the Lotto Body with Water or the Ion Styling Starch, and you use a hairspray, and that will really help hold your curl or your wave. Um, but for this video I didn't, I did a really quick one. But you'll see the results at the end. But uh, continuing on, I'm going around on both sides. I usually split the hair in half and I do one side and then the other side. And I just use a big clip to section it off so it doesn't get all over the place and in the way as I'm curling. I'm trying to take um, smaller than one inch but not too small just to make it easy to curl all the way around my hair. I don't worry about if I miss a strand, it's not a big deal. I mean, you're doing your own hair, so there's limitations. If somebody else was doing your hair, which I wish I could have somebody do my hair every day, it would be perfect, but it will still create a, a really nice wave. So anyway, we're doing the front section, almost done. I'm just grabbing it to kind of mold that curl a little bit. You can see the pretty wave, and I'm using a wide tooth comb to gently just kind of comb through it. And you can see how it created a really beautiful wave. So normally I would take my long clips, section it, and just hold it to set it. Today I didn't because I just wanted to show you this bumper bang, but also show you what you could do on with your ends. So now I'm going to continue on and we're going to do the other side. So if any of this is too fast, um, I don't want to bore you so I speed up the videos. But at the same time, if you have questions, feel free to comment below. I will answer them. I look at all of them, and I appreciate um, all your love and support when you do comment. So once again, I'm going around with my Gold Series 1-inch curling iron, just scrunching it a little bit on the ends, and doing about half an inch. And we're going to keep going. And I'm using Ion Finishing Spray. It says it's humidity resistant as well. Um, and I'm using that to spray afterward. You can use it before and after. That's what I love about this hairspray. You may have seen that I've mentioned it before. It's not a super hard hold. You could use an even harder hold hairspray, and those are awesome. So it's up to you. Get to know your hair and find the tools that work for you. I'm just giving you suggestions. And we're going to go around again. 
And I find the glove helps. I am super clumsy. As you can see, the burn mark on my arm. And I'm always doing 100 things at once. So um, I recommend it. It came with one of my curling irons, my wands. And so I just use it for everything. All right, now we're done both sides. I'm gonna use the wide tooth comb once again and just gently comb through. You can see the difference. I just love that. So that's a one inch pattern and I love that. And like if you want that hair to look more blanketed, you could tease the ends. I left them. Um, I've just recently got four inches cut off so I'm not too worried about the ends today. Like I said, the purpose of this video was to show you pin up bumper bangs. So I did miss a couple little hairs, but I'm just going to tease the back just to give it a little more volume because it's a little bit flat. And pump it up on the sides. You can scrunch and just fluff it up to give that volume. And making sure that hair is spread evenly across the sponge, which it grabs uh, most of it. So that's pretty cool. And you know, the more anal you want to be, go for it. I mean, you can make it perfect. I love to add in some hair flowers just to kind of cover any gaps and just add a little to, bit to the hairstyle. It's totally up to you if you want to. I made these and I can show you how to make those. Um, they're super inexpensive and super fun to do. Super easy. So let me know if you want a video on that. And here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I loved making it and I look forward to having you back again. Please like, share, and subscribe and check me out on my social media channels. Bye-bye.